Hello friends, welcome back to our channel myacmhelp.in. Uh, in this video, we will look about the MRP live architecture. So I will have two parts of it. So in this, we will have the part one. Uh, about MRP live, I, we already have two videos. One is a demo about how MRP live works. And second thing, we have also one video about MRP live and also the low level code. So these are critical parts so already if you have not watched it better you can watch those things it will give you a fair idea about how these things work so in the mrp live one of the first biggest factor is the planning scope is more flexible which means uh, you can plan set of materials with all components i mean you can give one material or you can give more materials you can run it at a plant level you can run it at a planner level so uh, also for one material across all plants so the planning scope is more flexible uh, in the classic mrp there was a scope of planning which you have to define and do that one that has been completely removed because mrp live has a capability to run across all plants and give a output in a quick time i mean it's a better efficiency that is one of the prime factor with the mrp live and uh, okay so uh, we have already discussed about low level code in case if you want to understand about low level code there is a separate video for it you can look at that so this low level code helps to sequence which metals has to be planned across all plants also there are multiple plants so it tries to do that in a very shortest time and give the results across okay and a very important thing is yes a lot of new products are getting to the scope of the uh, you know in the s4 hana like ppds is one like that okay we don't know in future there will be many other things which will come across but mrp live becomes a prerequisite for it okay so in case if you have activated advanced planning then you can run mrp live which will also help you to run the for the ppds also okay and the master production scheduling can also be done so there is an indicator which says yes okay so in the other place if you see we have to do mps separately mrp separately but here you can have a control where you wanted to run mrp or you wanted to do exclusive mps so that indicator is also available and explicitly in the screen and more importantly uh, how in the s4 hana it is seen as like the planners or the planners role and the procurement people's role are all now considered to be different okay earlier you had planned orders then you had to convert purchase requisition at all okay uh, but now if you see because of how it determines so what it does is mrp live now creates purchase requisition if the material is procured externally so either it will create a purchase requisition or it will create a delivery schedule so either one of them only will be happening for the materials which are marked as e okay uh, so how did mrp live achieve all this so that is a technical architectural change in this one okay so if you see this that is what we will be discussing next so this is about the amdp procedure which is called as abap managed database procedure okay so mrp live reads everything and calculate shortages everything is done on a uh, on a database procedure earlier sap was doing it on an application set procedure on an application server level okay the classic mrp was using abap to run it on the application server okay now this uh, this whole mrp live architecture is based on an amdp procedure so since this is done at the database layer level so the the exchange of data time to uh, between the application server database server is all reduced and then which has considerably helped sap to improve the performance okay so that is the biggest advantage with the amdp procedure so this is what we have tried to do in detail about what this amd procedure okay uh, and amdp procedure means it has a lot of abap code optimized okay uh, which has already been part of it so that a lot of optimization has already been done and more importantly uh, uh, even the baddies the exits all have been uh, you know honetized or it has been man uh, it has been created separately 
not sorry it's not honoritized it has been created separately to handle the mrp live related changes so in case if you have been working on old baddies and all you will not be able to use it you have to look for a new baddie which is the amdp baddies okay and uh, normally you will be debugging it in the se38 you go there and then you try to maintain some breakpoint and do it but with amdp procedures you need to have the eclipse based environment okay so that you you will be able to debug develop everything only on that area so people if they wanted to work with any of this amdp baddies then they have to have a eclipse based development okay so i have also given a link for the uh, where the to know more about eclipse so it will also be helpful so overall if you see these are some of the things that i have understood about mrp live i am open to learn from all of you also so please if you have any thoughts anything that which will add value please leave a comment that will help us to learn and grow together okay thank you